Hi everybody, welcome back. On our last video we left off, we had this thing running. And, uh, you know, it doesn't run too bad, but we are going to run through this whole thing. We're not going to rebuild everything, but uh, we'll get it down here. We still have uh, quite a bit of play up here. So, we got to take this off anyhow to get to our cylinder. So, let's get our cylinder opened up here. Alright, well we got that out of our way. And, uh, that'll do. Can you guys see what we're doing? Are we too close? Oh, let's get this off. Try to keep my hands out of your way. And like I said on that last video, we're just this stuff's all just finger tight. And uh, this will show up. Well, I, I can see the wear. And I can catch it with my fingernail. So we'll make a new bolt for that. And these up here, oh, see the slop in those? That's another source of our noise, so we're going to have to make a new one for up here. Yeah, this one's got wear on it too, so we'll keep this stuff together. And we're going to get our tie bar off the top right here. And all these are just finger tight also. We're going to take the whole cylinder off. Or at least attempt to. Um, all of this is brass, with the exception of the screws that they use to hold everything down to the brass base plate, and they're steel. So we're going to see how much that is going to stick in there. There, well, that's free. We'll get our get these out of our way. We'll try to take that whole cylinder assembly off. You see how these are going to come loose. Oh, that one came right loose. So I'll get the other three of these out. And uh, we'll come back. And we'll have this cylinder sitting to where we can all get a good look. We'll put it where this base is. Okay, well it looks like our cylinder assembly is loose from the base. Let's get this rest of our engine out of the way. There. Yeah, get a shop towel and put it underneath it there, and I'll pull you guys in closer. There, can you guys see what we got going on here? And uh, well, I guess it really doesn't matter about putting a nut on there because we still got to pack this, put our packing gland on there. So let's get our screws out of the top of this here and see what's inside. We're gonna find out together. One thing that I can say that was nice about this is, well, being all brass, it hasn't really fought too terribly hard to get it apart. And this little engine seems to be genuinely grateful and thankful for the time that we're putting into it to get it back into an operating model again. Because, well, that one that we just posted, it seemed like it was just happy to be running again. And it didn't even put up too much of a fight to get started. So, all right, let me get this last one out. We're going to see what's inside of here. There's always one, isn't there? Looks like there's something squishing out of here that was a gasket. It's rubbery. It might be silicone. I hope not, but we'll see. Let's get it opened up. We'll take a single edge razor blade and get it right there in the groove. Oh, there it went. All right, let's pull this out. Well, you guys see what this stuff is? I don't know. It feels like silicone. It doesn't come apart like it. Well, maybe it does. It looks like that was a silicone, some type of a sealant. Well, that's out of there. I'll look down. You guys see inside that bore or not? And the bottom of this is bolted to this base. So there should be a gasket on the bottom side of this too because that goes clear to the bottom so let's get that out of the way we'll get back on it let's look at our piston this 
some more of that silicone a little brass piston and this looks like some type of a packing material we may replace this with a silicone o-ring let me get my fingers out of your way so you can see what we're doing I take that for granted I can see I'm looking around the camera and you guys are looking through it so yeah this looks like this is some type of a packing I'll try to get a hold of some of it it comes apart I'm not sure all right well let me get this all off of here I'll put our hardware back out of the way so we don't get it lost or misplaced let's see what holds this oh the top of our that just screws on so we can get that out of the way we'll open up our packing gland and it's got packing I can see the tail of it yeah that had packing on it it's coming apart so we'll get that out of there all right all right, let me get this here cut off, and we'll see what it's made out of. I'll bring you guys back after they get this off. Well, this is what that is, and it looks like it's just packing material. So, All right, well, here's our little piston, and there's our rod. It doesn't seem like it, I can't feel a whole lot of wear on it. So that's nice. All right. Well, let's see if we can get the bottom off of this. Let's see what we've got for a, uh, a gasket on it. And I don't know if you guys can see, but these holes are not concentric. So this plate will only fit one direction. We'll need to be mindful of that when we put it back together. Let's get this opened up and uh, see what we've got. We'll try to get it opened up. The screwdriver's a little bit too big. Let me grab a smaller screwdriver. I'll try this one in there. I was thinking for our sealer when we put this back together, we will cut a paper gasket for it. But, uh, we might use some of that anaerobic gasket sealant just so we know that it seals up. Cut the crud out of this slot. Do you guys have any idea on how old you think this uh, little engine is? I'll leave a comment down there because I'm kind of curious myself. Um, we do have BA thread and then we had 440 on our valve rod here. So. I don't know if that's going to help to date it or not, but that's what we've came up with so far. I haven't found anything metric on it yet, but I guess I really haven't been checking. There, we finally got all four of them loose. We'll get this last one out. We'll see what we got underneath for a gasket. Well, look at that. Nothing for a gasket on the bottom. So... All right, well, we can see through our cylinder. All right, guys, well, it's a short one, but I'll get this uh, cleaned up down here. I'll get this cleaned up down here where our sealing surface will be. And uh, we'll come back. We'll put it back together. So, hey, thanks again for watching, guys. You guys are fantastic. I love reading all your comments. And like I said, I try to reply to all of them. So keep them coming. Thanks again. We'll see you in a day or two. Bye.